guys welcome to the video so we're out for another little hot tent overnight adventure here uh, so I'm hoping to make my way across this pond and uh, set up my hot tent and camp out overnight and uh, do a little bit of trout fishing this afternoon so that's the plan uh, it's supposed to be a pretty windy day so we're gonna have to find a nice sheltered spot to set up the hot tent so yeah we'll cross the pond uh, find our camp get everything set up cut some firewood and stuff and then hopefully uh, have enough time to try for a trout. So let's go. Come on, Goose, let's go. All right, well, hopefully you guys can hear me. It's uh, starting to get pretty windy out already, and the wind is only supposed to pick up as the day goes on. But uh, this is about 50 feet off of the shore here, and I'm about to leave and cross the pond. So I'm going right across the middle of this pond. And uh, this is my first time out on a pond at all this winter, so I have no idea what the ice conditions are like. So uh, I'm gonna get my auger out and drill a couple of holes here as I go. So typically, uh, at least here in central Newfoundland, this time of year, there's nothing to worry about. There's usually tons of ice by now, but you know, it's not the type of thing you wanna just assume is gonna be okay. So I'm gonna drill a couple of holes and uh, check the ice conditions as I go just to be safe. All right, yeah, we're good to go. So it was basically the entire, uh, Hard blue part of the auger. That's how thick the ice was before it broke through, so we shouldn't have any any worries here. All right, so when we get up around this little point here, down this way, there's a nice little uh, sheltered cove. And the way the wind is coming, wind is coming out of the northwest all evening and overnight. So this little cove here should be tucked away out of the wind about as well as we're going to get. So I'm going to head down here and uh, set up, set up our camp somewhere down in this cove, somewhere on this shore over here. All right, so this is going to be our campsite for tonight. So this is actually a spot where I uh, I camped out for two nights last winter in my canvas tent. So it's a nice little sheltered spot. And with the wind direction today, I figured it would be a good spot to set up. So yeah, I'm going to set the tent up right here. I got a flat new spot for the tent. And we got a bonus pile of firewood left here. So I must have left this here last year. Uh, when I broke down camp so that'll be a bonus uh, I don't know how dry it's gonna be how well it's gonna burn because it's just been sitting there on the ground for over a year now but anyways once I get the, the stove lit and I'm burning good I'll try some of that wood and uh, if I can get that to burn then that'll be a, a huge help I won't have to cut near as much firewood because there's enough left in that pile right there to uh, do me a good chunk of the night so hopefully that'll burn for us All right, well, we're gonna be running a wood stove inside of a nylon tent here. So, you know, you can imagine that things can go wrong pretty easily in that situation. So uh, the number one priority has to be to make sure that the tent is good and secure and nothing can shift in the wind or whatever. And it is gonna be a pretty windy night. So I have to make sure that the tent is really secure and it can't move if the wind gusts, like having to get up and under the tent or whatever. So I don't really trust these little metal pegs that come with the tent. So I went ahead and I cut a couple of alders and uh, just cut them off in like 12 inch pieces. So I'm gonna use my shovel and uh, just dig a hole and use these as snow anchors. So I'll dig a little a hole, just about maybe a foot or so down. And then I'll throw the alder down, put it across the hole like this, kind of perpendicular to the tent. And then I'll just bury that in with snow. 
and there's no way that's gonna pull out in the wind so that should be uh, should be a lot stronger than those little metal pegs that come with the tent All right, so that's it for the tent setup and the stove. So I'm just gonna grab the rest of my gear out of my sled now, pack it all inside the tent, and uh, then I'm gonna go cut some firewood. And hopefully we'll get it on pond then and drill a couple of holes, see if we can't hook into a trout or two. I'll have to get some firewood, so just up behind our camp here, the tent is right here. Yeah, just up behind our camp, there should be no trouble to find some dead standing wood up here. All oh, spruce. So we'll go find a couple of dead standing ones, cut them down, and carry them back to camp. So that first tree dropped right on Goose's head. So he ran right under the tree as it was coming down. It was only a small tree, so it didn't hurt him or anything. But uh, yeah, gotta be careful with Goose. Why he's, uh, he goes nuts when I start cutting trees down. I've never seen anything like it. He's just obsessed with trees and sticks. He gets right wild when I start sawing a tree down. He ran right under that one. Look at him, tearing the limbs off him. Goose, calm down, boy. You're gonna get yourself killed. All right, well, I'm getting in the mood for a coffee, so I'm gonna get the fire going. Still early, but uh, I'm gonna make a coffee, and uh, after that, then we'll head out on the ice and uh, drill a couple of holes, try for a trout. Yeah, I still got a bit more firewood to cut up, but I got I got it all dragged back by camp here, so I can kind of pick away at it over the course of the, uh, the day. So yeah, time to get the stove lit, get a coffee and a snack, and then uh, we'll do a bit of ice fishing. All right, time to head out on the ice and try for a trout. So I'm just gonna go right in front of camp here. Not gonna venture too far away, but uh, yeah, I'll drill a couple of holes out here and drop down the line, see if we can have any luck. I need to get some water too and uh, bring back to the tent and fill up my pots and stuff for later. Finally, yeah, there's lots of ice in this pond. 
say every bit of two feet, if not more. This is Goose's favorite part of ice fishing right here. Ready? Here, Goose. Though. Expectations are pretty low in this pond. Uh, I've fished here plenty of times and overall I haven't done great at all. So I spent three days here last winter and I don't think I got a single bite the whole time I was here. I have caught trout here in the past, but they're very, uh, very few and far between. So like I said, expectations are low, but we'll give her a shot anyways. So got a nice juicy worm on a spinner. Yeah, if I was a trout, I would uh, I would definitely be interested in this. Alright, let's try our luck. I don't know how deep it is here. Oh, well, not very deep at all. Only probably a foot or two of water underneath the ice, I think. So the wind is howling pretty good, but this little cove, like I said earlier, is tucked away, so we're not getting a whole lot of the wind. I can hear it whistling through the trees and stuff, but it's actually pretty nice here. Anyways, guys, I'll uh, be sure to turn the camera on if I get any action here. But in the meantime, I'm gonna just fill up my, uh, my pots and stuff with water and bring it back to the tent, check on the stove because I left the stove going. So uh, yeah, I'm just going to leave my line down in the water, keep an eye on it, and uh, do a few things around camp in the meantime. Well, no luck in the hole that I drilled back in front of camp. So I had my line down for probably about an hour there and uh, I did some stuff around camp, cut some more wood and uh, boiled some drinking water for later and stuff. So I just uh, snowshoed down the pond here, probably a couple hundred meters down off this little point that I walked right around earlier. And uh, just gonna fish here for probably about an hour or so and then it'll be time to head back to the tent and uh, get some food going. So. I got a steak to cook for supper, so looking forward to that. Yeah, maybe we'll have some luck here, but like I said earlier, I'm not really expecting much in the way of fishing here. Come on, fishy. Not a thing so far, not even a nibble. Anyways, I've just been uh, hanging around here throwing a stick for Goose. Trying to keep him busy so he don't wander off on me. And yeah, there's uh, nothing going on with the fishing situation, so... I'm soon going to call it a day and uh, head back to the tent. Well, pretty much back to the tent. No luck with the trout. Not even a bite. Oh yeah, wood stove still burning away. It's gonna be nice and hot inside this tent here now. Oh, oh, oh yeah, it is hot in here. Nice. All right, well, as you can tell, we're settled away in the tent here, so. It is 8.19, so it's been dark for close to an hour now, I guess. So yeah, we, uh, we got in the tent just after dark and uh, just been relaxing. Got the wood stove rocking here. It's nice and warm in here. Took my boots off, just drawing my feet out. Feet got soaked out on the pond and the slush earlier, so it's nice to uh, get those wet boots off. So I forgot to bring my little uh, digital thermometer that I normally take, but I'd say it's every bit of 
20, maybe even 25 degrees in here now, so I'm gonna have to shed a couple more layers here later. But for now, I'm just gonna kick back. Uh, today is actually St. Patty's Day, so I brought out a beer in celebration of St. Patty's Day. So this is a beer from um, Labrador City Brewery in Labrador City, Iron Rock Brewing Company. Happy Valley is the name of the beer. I don't know if that focused the first time I tried to show it. But yeah, never never tried this beer before, I don't think. So, I'll crack this open now and uh, sip on a nice cold beer before I cook my steak. Cheers. Uh, oh yeah, it's good. Happy Valley Hefeweizen. <laughs> I don't know. There's so many different kinds of these craft beers now. There must be like a dozen or more craft breweries just in uh, Newfoundland alone now. So the craft, uh, craft beer scene really blew up the last few years. Which is great because lots of different kinds of beers to try. Anyways, not much else happening. The goose is just off to the side of the camera here, down by my feet. So, like I said uh, last time I did a video with this tent, it's kind of hard to film inside of here where it's so small. But yeah, goose has passed out on his uh, blanket there. I'm just going to sip on my beer and uh, then cook my steak and... That'll be about it for the evening. So, tomorrow morning I uh, I gotta get out of here really early. So, this is gonna be a real quick uh, quick little overnight trip here. So, uh, I gotta be back tomorrow morning back home. I got something going on. So, I may even have to uh, to get up and like pack up the tent and the stove and stuff before it even gets daylight because I gotta I gotta get back. So, anyways. Uh, We'll worry about that in the morning. Like I said, for now, I'm just gonna enjoy the rest of the evening and uh, cook a steak on the wood stove here shortly. In she goes. Nice thick prime rib steak. Gonna be good. Whew, well, it got kind of smoky in here when I threw that steak in the pan, so I had to open up the door. Goose just went back outside. I think he's too warm. A little bit of, what is this? The Keg Steakhouse uh, Steak Spice. Steak's gonna take a while to cook because it's about an inch and a half thick. But it should be a nice, a nice juicy steak. Oh, she's getting smoky in here now. Oh yeah, looking good. We'll give it another couple of minutes. And I think she'll be done. All right, I'm calling it done. Oh yeah, look at that slab of meat. Oh man, can't wait to eat this. Take this off, because it's smoking me out here. So I got my uh, old trout knife uh, from Newfoundland Knife Company. I haven't used it much yet, but awesome little knife. Perfect for slicing up this steak now. Oh yeah. Good stuff. Just 
surprised Goose hasn't come wandering around yet. He's outside there somewhere. I gotta keep an eye on him, make sure he doesn't wander off. Figured he'd come around when he smelled his steak, but. Anyways, I'm just gonna eat the rest of my steak, relax for another little while. And uh, yeah, I'll check in again before I call it night. Alright, guys, well, just been uh, relaxing here, feeding the wood stove, listening to some tunes. And uh, gonna call it a night now, I think. So, so things around 10 30, 11 o'clock, somewhere around there. So, yeah, gonna call it a night, and uh, I'll check in with you guys in the morning. Morning guys, so it is 6.19, so I've uh, been awake for probably half an hour or so, and uh, yeah, just sipping on a coffee, enjoying the last bit of heat here from the wood stove, gonna let it burn out now because I soon got to uh, start packing everything up. So I had a great night, uh, it stayed real warm in here, I managed to keep the stove going all night long. Almost burned up all of my wood. I just got a few pieces left here. But yeah, it was warm. Uh, I was completely out of my sleeping bag for the majority of the night. So it must have been 25 degrees or more here for most of the night. So yeah, good night. But uh, we got to start packing up here soon and, uh, and hit the trail. So I timed myself yesterday on the way in and. Uh, it's going to take me about an hour to cross the pond here and walk back to where my truck is parked. And then i got about an hour drive to get home. So, got to get on the move here soon. Still pitch dark outside, but I'm going to have to uh, start packing everything up in the dark here and, uh, and get on the move. So, anyways, I'm not going to bother to film anything else. going to call it a video here. And, uh, yeah, I just want to say thanks to everyone for following along. If you enjoyed the video and... Uh, enjoy the channel then feel free to subscribe and hit the like button leave me a comment and uh, yeah all that stuff helps the channel so that's gonna do it for this one guys thanks for following along and we'll see you on the next video